Yeah. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Is that Owen Wilson? Well, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you do an Owen Wilson impression? Like, sure. Right off the bat? What are you but dressed as? I, I'm going to say this. It's like we... Excuse me. We both uh, watch a documentary, or, yeah. and then this is our interpretation. Yes. So obviously, we don't learn the same. I am a private eye. <laughs> well, I'm a female fighter. And um, I'm part of the Female Fight Club. What is the actual Female Fight Club? Female Fight Club, these are um, really great women in New York City that okay. come to my shows a lot. And so they give me some merch. Do they beat the shit and, out of each other? Well, they train girls like I want to do. You know, They train they, like self-defense? Yes. Do they fight, though, privately like Fight Club? Like in I a, hope in so. In a warehouse? I haven't, I haven't fully joined but I have a lot of merch. So they're... But I want to get behind them, because we'll get into it with the this documentary, but I want to get behind them and get my, uh, you know, are the girls people, kicking ass. Are the people you know... Te- Very young. I want to go younger. Teaching or running, or are they taking the class? T- uh, they, oh, they run it. They run it. They run it. What's their fight background? Uh, great question. Yeah. I haven't gone. I'm never in New York long enough. What like, if this is just like a lesbian bar that you're promoting? You're an asshole. I, you don't know. That's not true. <laughs> How no, do you know? Because I follow them on Instagram, and we they show like the the girls in the park training, whatever. Yeah, that lady, out, that's foreplay. That kind of thing. It's oh, like yeah, rub up on again. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't want any problems with the female fight club. Yeah, I'm well, gonna, come I'm and gonna, we'll I'm, kick your ass, and then we'll. Hug each other. I'm gonna walk it back. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> they'll we're beat gonna, the shit out of you. I'm sure. And the they guys would. she brought, they, like she brought a lot of people. She always comes to my shows. Like she came to my album recording in Jersey. Wow. She, they're very nice, very nice. So I love female Fight Club, but What's, I want to get it bigger than what they're just. You doing, want like a, I want it worldwide, and I want to start it younger. You know this. So like, what? How, what age should someone start a female I in would the female say fight club? Three or four. Oh, so baby Barb's already baby a year yeah. or two behind. She's at. She's got to get in. She's, okay. All right. She's well, gonna get left back in this class. I'll talk to her about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> if she has time between, uh, she started dance and gymnastics. I'll see. Ooh, if she that's is. good. I'll that's see good. if she has time to move to fight. But we'll get into why I got excited about it again. I mean, I'm always <laughs> excited about it. I really want to do that. I mean, maybe that's when we fully, well, at least for me, I fully quit this business. <laughs> and then I well, after watch, move back to Philadelphia. After watching this. Uh, I start. It's a, real, it's a real nice portrayal of showbiz. Oh, yeah. This just makes you feel so good. Sh- but not just showbiz, just Just money. life. Life and, yeah, people you with have money. money. Money and power. Yeah. Bottom line, everything to me goes to money. You can get away with a lot of bullshit. You can bullshit. get away with anything with money. Yeah, it seems it's, to be. It's disgusting. Sad, but it seems to be the case. Should so we get right sad. into it? Yeah, sure. If you're going to try to find this. So this is your private eye look. Like this is my private eye. This is Duncan this is... Trussell, <laughs> private eye. <laughs> the incredible Duncan <laughs> Trussell. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. This is me. And you're like, who is that? Who is that guy? Comes out. You don't know what he's got on him. No, but when they took this, the documentary we're doing is about a fixer slash private eye. But he did great headshots as if he was like an actor where he was dressed kind of like this. He had a blazer over his shoulder, like a real idiot. But to me, it's like eventually we get into that and he becomes that. Yeah. Like he get uh, once you're in when you get to a certain point in Hollywood and you get around certain people, you're like, Oh, I could do this. I could definitely I got something I could write something, I could be in it, I could do this. He's acting now. Hundred percent. Seventy five years old, debut. So I- <laughs> Good time to start. <laughs> right out of prison. I will say he looks better at older. I agree with you. He aged grace fuck men, they do that. They age gracefully. He aged he does look better. Notice now. the women. Hot, <laughs> super hot, super hot. So if you're gonna try to find this face bloating, but they're fine. It's uh, this is tough to find. It really was. You have to go to Hulu, then you have to type in. I don't know why they did it like this, but they want their credit. New York Times presents, and then they and have- then you go in there and you look up. There's two episodes called Sin Eater. That's what we're talking about, right? Sin Eater. It's I a, like the name of it too. It's a, well, he only said it eight thousand times. True, it's in a his modern interviews. day Jesus. I'm a sin eater. That's what I do. It's like, okay, dude, we we got we we understand. 
God, this guy is so, so I hate this guy so the much. The body of Anthony, what's his last name? His name is Anthony Pelicano. Pelicano. He was a fixer slash private eye to the stars and, and uh, big name lawyers, yeah. big name showbiz types. They would go to him if they have a problem. He'll take care of it. They go into later that he developed a TV show with Brad Gray. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's like- because Brad Gray and Burlstein Gray was the name of the company, but they it's were a manage- so big. Management company. They were so big, and they did. Um, I know I a mean, guy who works there. The Sopranos. Uh, they put the Sopranos on TV. Yeah. Brad was responsible for that with um, Albrecht. Albrecht and his wa- Chris Albrecht and Annie Albrecht put it on TV. But they were like all in cahoots together. Just did their. They 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 were at the top of the food chain, if you will. So they go to HBO with a show, and the show doesn't go. <laughs> but the writer of the weird. show goes on to Showtime to write Ray, Ray Donovan, Donovan, which is kind of takes from Anthony Pelicano. A hundred percent fixer. I, Ray Donovan, though. When I first saw Anthony Pelicano on screen, my note was: this guy looks like Billy Crystal. <laughs> Playing like a can- the Italian, Italian can- Billy Crystal, he really did. I was <laughs> yeah, like, he doesn't yeah. look intimidating at all. And I'm not a guy. I'm not rough and tumble. I'm yeah, not yeah, a fighter. Yeah. This guy looks. I'm like, I could handle Anthony Pelicano coming yeah. at me. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He looks like a fucking. Yeah, like if I wouldn't be afraid of him. Like Lee Schreiber looks me. like a badass right. guy. Like you don't want to fuck with Lee Schreiber. It, exactly. It, that's the guy who plays Ray Donovan. Yes. Um. And so, uh, yeah. When I saw the picture, like if. If you look him up and you see that picture of him with that <laughs> drape, like leaning against the building, you're like, this he guy a, comes to my house, I'll knock him out. He's a receding afro <laughs> hairline. <laughs> he, <laughs> he just dresses he like did. a substitute teacher, like <laughs> button down. He's just like an idiot. Yeah, and for the money he was charging, you're like, that's you got to get better suits, buddy. Yeah. But unless he was using all that money to either hide it. Well, we find out later he's buying his female staff fake tits. Well, that that I was I was pissed. <laughs> I was like, not... "Damn, I could have worked for this guy." <laughs> you go in. He's like, "Hey, you need fake tits. There's some go go." <laughs> Immediately, that would be my first note. Hey, man, I solved this case. Yeah, but you need new tits. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, great. Got it. They uh, they open it up with phone call. They because this guy was a big wire tapper. Right. Should have. He gives me a, anxiety. He needed wire a nickname taps. like Anthony the Phone. Or... <sighs> Tony Tapper. He needed Tony something. Tony Tapper <laughs> is good. Tony Tapper. <laughs> Tony the Tapper. Uh, so they open with phone calls, and he says, I'm an old style Sicilian. I only go one way. I'm very heavy handed, honey. He loved the honey. <laughs> that was Big a, honey. He, old he school honey. Chris Rock honey. Yeah. He called, I loved it. <laughs> I was like, I might start calling men honey. It That's good. That's me. Very nice touch. He's like, look, honey. <laughs> and he like, said it, it it's like i remember doing a um a podcast at the comedy store with uh oh my god his name just went right out of my fucking head me and ingram and um doug stanhope no ron white thank you ronnie uh, so ron white uh was like i was asking him a question and he he was kind of getting annoyed with us it, he had just started coming to the store yeah, he like, didn't what? know who the fuck we he's were like, what is this it was so nice of him to even do the podcast and then he goes what's your question little lady did he tip his cap at you on his horse but it reminded me of that what's that little lady like <laughs> you, you okay. should have said that to rick a little honey what'd you say honey <laughs> Rick, <laughs> me and Rick constantly love that. Like Little that's lady. so good. But the honey is similar. Like the way he says it, it it, mind, it reminded me of that. I was like, oh. When he says it to women, he said it it's to the so women. Degrading. Women interview so degrading. He's like, like I just want to get my Fight Club going. <laughs> you know, like fuck you. You're ready to get in the park yeah. with those ladies. <laughs> Why I oughta? He also <laughs> said uh, he loves that he's Sicilian. Hey. Really plays into that. Oh yeah, he loves really this. real big into pretending he has mob. Be great connections. if he was eating like a Sicilian pizza, like a, just a <laughs> slice of big fat. This guy eats like Subway. Yeah. <laughs> No, he doesn't. <laughs> he said, I'm Sicilian and a man of honor. I'm a sin eater. That's what I do. I'm a sin eater. I eat the sins of others. I'm a modern day lord. Does he have oh. ulcers because of all these sins he's Probably. eating? Probably. He, I'm surprised he's not covered in I ulcers. I wonder if he shit, does he shit the sins out or does he just keep them inside for he, years? He looks like they're inside. Okay. He, You know what I mean? That's why his face this doesn't have is, any wrinkles on it. This guy is rotten to the core. <laughs> He kind of is. He kind of is. They talk about- Loyal, but rotten. They set it up that, you know, Hollywood in the 90s, it was kind of uh, 
no rules, no any. You could do what you True. want. Everyone was above the law. The, the Weinstein's they kind of show some yeah. some pictures of people who are getting away with stuff. Yeah. Uh, one of the talking heads says, "As long as you're making money, you didn't answer to anyone." So it's like exactly. the R. Kelly. It's like you make money. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. we know a lot of we'll shit's going it on. Out. Yeah, we'll we'll sweep it under the rug. Michael Jackson, whatever. Not a problem. Uh, they said Anthony had access to information, would acquire it ruthlessly. He didn't really follow many rules himself. Right. That's that's so He's creepy. Just, but how... I'm Sicilian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sicilian. Like, how did you want to get into that lifestyle? Are you that nosy as a kid? You're well, like, I got to see just, what's going on. And you just have no moral qualms of like, you can't, you, you couldn't even give a shit of what he did. Right. But like private investigators, period, they usually bend the law. Yeah. Most of the time, break it. They follow people around. But they're like, no, 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 it's just a bend because they, they know it. They know the law so well that they like can skirt it's weird too it's it. like why if you want to be that involved why not just become a cop it, or an fbi yeah, or, agent yeah. or whatever like it's like why go to like the to me it's like in, almost in line with the bounty hunters offshoot. of the world yeah yeah it's an offshoot it's of like cops real... don't really love it because they do break the law yeah they do shit their own way it's like going to nordstrom or sears it's like you know they're the sears <laughs> I don't know why that came into my head. Sears, my brain like, is dead. I don't know if Sears are around anymore. <laughs> well, these people shouldn't be either. Sears was great, though. You could buy like a washing machine, but then they had clothes. Was, and you could get your picture taken. With it, was your really, kids. it was really a catch all. <laughs> my best friend Melissa used to take pictures of kids there. I didn't know it was. Like a, the 80s and yeah, like it the was family portraits. That was portraits. one of her jobs, yeah. Those things were beautiful. <laughs> uh, she was good at it. <laughs> Pelicano was brought in when Michael Jackson, uh, the whole molestation thing, uh, he was brought in for the defense. I got really nervous when they started talking about Michael Jackson. My first ex-fiance, his brother was his lawyer. Really? Entertainment lawyer. So a good guy. Yep. Well, John (laughs) Branken's pretty top of his game. I don't know that, but he wasn't mentioned in any of this. So I was like, good for you, John. Uh, they had Pelicano a tape with him and one of the parents uh, accusing Michael Jackson. He was really trying to set this guy up for extortion. He's like, I'll give you this. It's like, you're offering it. He's not asking. The guy was, I mean, to my it knowledge. It was like that. Like, yeah, because it did make you think like, oh, the guy's asking, but he's like, no, he offered. Yeah, he's like, I'll give you a deal for this. And it's like, I don't know if that's extortion. You're yeah. kind of like. You started it. Yeah, you're setting them <laughs> all. It seems to me entrapment, and you shouldn't yeah, be illegally right, taping. Right, entrapment, right, exactly. It's like, here, this. And then when you hear the conversation, you're like, oh, man, that's fucked up. They're trying to get money out of Michael. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he really played it like that. <laughs> I like, because uh, this guy taped so many of his calls. Every call. Uh, I know a comic that does that. I've heard of that person. <laughs> um <laughs> I call that comic sometimes, do stand-up material, and then have them send it back to me just to hear <laughs> hear how it's going. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you send me that tape back, I want to use it. Um, I like when he said to somebody, you want me to be myself and threaten them? Like big fucking tough guy. Right. He never did anything physical, by the way, to my knowledge. He always would outsource that part. Well, absolutely. He would That's bring in guys who That's were- That's why he could confidently say, I didn't do that. Another good nickname is Tech Tony because he was the, he was the tech man. He's a good tech guy. <laughs> yeah, because he was like yelling like, "No, that's not how you do it." But he you acted like, "I'll kick your ass." But it's like, who's ass? Of you? You're not kicking anybody's ass. Yeah, you're a nerd. You're bro. Billy Crystal. You have your jacket draped over your one you, shoulder. If you're a tough away. guy, you're not taking headshots. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like a Sears photo. <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> What a fucking idiot. I'll talk. I know this could make you squirm a little bit, but I want to talk Uh-oh. briefly about the Chris Rock recording. I know you guys are close friends. But it, why would it make me squirm? You guys are good friends. I just don't want, you, and... I don't want you to feel that you're going against a pal. I wouldn't go against him. I'm on Chris's <laughs> side. I didn't. Okay. So this is the, uh, the situation was Chris Rock was married in an affair with a woman. She's claiming that she's pregnant with his baby, but also claiming that he raped her. Which... Which is a, a very odd double yeah. allegation. Yeah. Um, and if any, you know Chris Rock, you know there's no raping in Chris Rock. It's just not in him. That's not a thing. So. An affair? Maybe. Maybe. Allegedly. 
so this is when he's talking to Chris Rock. So embarrassing, by the way. Oh, it is for this to be out, especially because they, yeah. Now that's they're gonna they need the names to get people yeah. to watch the documentary. Yeah, they want you to talk so they're gonna it. throw a a thirty year old fucking problem yeah. out again, and it's like really. So here's what uh, old Tony Tech says: What I need to know from you, honey, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to start a conversation. I would have been like, what, would you just call me honey? Do me a favor, honey. <laughs> what Ooh. I need to a man. What I need to know from I you, know. honey. Did you come on her thighs? I was like, wait, <laughs> what? What the hell kind of question is that? Imagine talking. This is a phone call that happened between Billy Crystal and Chris Rock. Let me ask you this, because when, that, uh, when I was listening to that, I was like, do you think these are edited or no? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, I guess, for brevity. I don't know. To cut it down, just curious. And Chris Rock, like, because it was a rant. It was a, a weird cut. Like, you're oh, like yeah. whoa, that's a hell of a segue, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, Ugh. I haven't been around Chris Rock a lot, but off stage, he seems pretty quiet. At least the people he doesn't Very know. Quiet. One of the nicest people. Just uh, keeps to himself. You know. So I could imagine this being a painful, unbelievable conversation painful. for him. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, I, I probably. I pulled out. It probably came on her ass. This guy. <laughs> He's trying to figure it out. I'm like, like oh, I don't remember. You know, like. It turns out he, he committed no crimes, Chris Rock. Zero. He, and he was not the father of the bit. You are not the father. This was a Jamaican <laughs> woman, right? Is dance. that the story? Because I remember that story. Uh, was trying to extort him. I think said, so. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Uh, so then, I don't wanna, allegedly. So here comes Tony Tech again. Tony Tech. I'm Sicilian. All the attitudes that I valued <laughs> and cherished came from that life. That life meaning basically the mob, which I don't think of it did. Of course, it, because he couldn't get in it because he's too much of an idiot. He said, his, "My father was a very tough guy with his hands." Well, I guess that skipped a generation. <laughs> It does skip over. <laughs> His dad, I, they, did, they weren't close at all. And he said, being around people who were manly, that allowed me to be a man. He said, yeah. he said I don't need a dad. I had so many men around me. <laughs> there was another one of the, I don't remember who said this in one of the calls, but it's like, you know, nowadays when they were putting all the calls kind of like yeah. the beautiful mind thing, but yeah. like all over, it was like... Uh, they're, you know, nowadays these girls are 15, but they look 20. I was like, the makeup? I was like, is that a. Uh, <laughs> the way the guy said it with the makeup? Said somebody. Like, uh, <laughs> that could be. Could be. What year is that from? <laughs> uh, Tony Tech went to the army as a code guy, which is uh, all the big macho guys getting a code. Sure. In. That's exactly. You fucking nerd. Yeah. He uh, became a private eye after that. Then he, that's when they start showing the headshots. He was a like, gun out. I was like, who's looking at these? You're like, hey, let me look on the internet for, oh, I'm going to use this guy with his yeah. gun. He moved to L.A. in 82 from Chicago. Yeah. The big case that put him on the map was DeLorean. The, uh, Which is hilarious. Maker like, of the cars. But like, what? He does cocaine? So they had videos <laughs> of DeLorean with traffickers. They're like, we're going to give you a suitcase of cocaine. He's like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he gets arrested. I don't. They oh, see that footage that they show. I feel like they use that in every movie, or at least they recreate it. Because yeah. Because that was the, maybe that was the only one ever filmed. Like I don't know. It was. It always. Every time I see that, I'm like, oh, I've seen that in every movie. <laughs> it looks like true romance. Or was it? Yeah, exactly. In the hotel. Or was it old footage that they just threw in there? I didn't know if that was with that guy in it. Well, the lawyer, Howie Weitzman, Howard, who's boys with Pelicano, he thought the uh, the videos were altered. So that's why he ah, calls in Tony Tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, th and then- <laughs> To re-edit. They get him acquitted, <laughs> and this became a big calling card for Anthony. He met a lot of like big people in Hollywood, right. and he's, he said, I was a hot ticket. I'm Sicilian. <laughs> I'm a sin eater. I'm Tony the Tech Man. Uh, he was pretty thin. He must not have eaten a lot of sins. Well, he, was, he would throw away the bread <laughs> of the Subway sandwiches. <laughs> sins are low carb. Not a lot of pasta. <laughs> uh, I've never heard of you. Burt Fields, are you familiar with? I don't know who that is. I never heard of him. I guess he was a big, powerful entertainment lawyer. But that's why I was like, uh-oh, entertainment lawyer. I was like nervous. Like, yeah, I didn't know. John who. was going to get mentioned, but nothing, uh, luckily. They said Pelicano loved to accuse the accuser. Of extortion. He's yeah. Like, oh, he's like, no, you're wrong. You're out of line, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> that was a big play of his. I remember I remember these interviews. He's the one who brought the two kids to talk to CNN 
saying like we stayed at Neverland. It was awesome with Michael Jackson. Man, that's a sick. The kid part, who looked man. like Eminem. All the kids could be coached by either the parents, the lawyer, like or it's both. so sad. This was, he had the mother in line and then he had the kids in line as well. They they were the same ones that were in that big one that came out against Michael Jackson Reese. Yeah, the, the guy later right. recanted it. He was like, yeah, I was He told. was one of the kids in yeah. that, or people in that, because they're not kids now, but it, 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 it was so weird the way the kid, he goes, I know that for a fact. And yeah. I was like, oh, this is like a little acting yeah. 101 where it's like, Good job. you got to really sell this. We'll take you to ice cream after if you right. say what we want about and Michael. And we'll let you cuddle with Michael. Wait, I mean, and? <laughs> the mother said, I thought this was a normal statement. Uh, if you know Michael's background, it's normal that he sleeps in bed with kids. Wait, what? <laughs> What's his background? <laughs> I don't, she's like, everyone knows he didn't have a childhood. I'm like, okay. Right. Plenty of that people that mean... do Olympians sleep in bed with kids. Right. They don't have childhoods. <laughs> One person who's doing it. It's not like, hey, everyone knows. You this know is a weird, yeah. I was like, Are uh, you? she later was like, yeah, I, I know how stupid that made me look when she, I said that. Thank God she said that. Yeah, I was like, was like, okay. But it, it, do you, are you pro like he did it or pro you're not sure? Pro he, he did it. Pro he did it. It's way too I'm much s- smoke. Well, a lot of smoke. But they've guys like this tampering that smoke down. Yeah, just, he has got I a blanket on it. Send it so smoke much. singles. <laughs> it's really talented. Fuck, I turned his music off the radio. I'm like, fuck this fucking guy. <laughs> I watched like a little clip of his. Uh, fuck his. Like, it was like a live show. His dancing, just incredible. Oh, he's a great dancer. I'm not saying but he's I'm, not I'm just talented. Saying overall, his talent was insane. That it's like. I have trouble separating art from the artist. Like I can't stand Kanye West. I'm like fuck Kanye. Like I don't. Oh, it, okay. Mel Gibson. Anyone like if I'm by the, like, anybody goes against the Jews. Well, that, but also just like kids are okay. Jews, no, no. <laughs> no, no Michael no, Jackson. I'm question. like fuck Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm just like fuck him. I don't yeah, need yeah, it. Yeah. I don't need thriller that bad in my life. Right, right. But when it comes on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone knows my background. I didn't have a childhood. Just get in bed, drink this wine, kiss me. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. The classic comedy store legend, Jim Painter. Okay. Rest in peace to his comedy career. He's still alive. How dare you? He came back for a little bit. He did. He had a brief two-week stint back. He had the bit about Neverland. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, this guy built an amusement park in his backyard. If he wasn't fucking those kids, he should have been. <laughs> That's a great bit. <laughs> Always funny. <laughs> I think it was longer than that, but that great was the- Great bit, uh... accurate as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Oh, man. But I do remember, like, you know, my my- ex fiance's niece she was little and she they would always be like i was like where were you today she's like oh how was your day how was your weekend or whatever like we'd go there on sundays mm-hmm. and hang out she's like oh we were in neverland all weekend so it wasn't just like one or two kids it was like a bunch of kids you said your niece no 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 my oh. first ex fiance oh niece, got it got it uh you know because d- his lawyer was her father so they, they she would always talk about it like it was nothing do like, you need oh, tickets yeah, we or in- i mean how does it work not for them. He was a is big she there? Time, like I said. He is was a everyone big there lawyer. with him, or can you be there just kind of uh, with someone else? That I don't know, but it was because she everyone, was with Michael. He's like, well, you're a girl, so <laughs> kind of gross. She came home early. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> she didn't have to sleep over. <laughs> All right, you But she had slept over. Uh, like I, I mean, she talked about it. Like we stayed over. I, the, so I thought it was like a resort. You're in the guest room. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the other side. No. Uh, Pelicano is keeping employees of Michael Jackson quiet, which is to me, mm-hmm. says, if nothing's going on, you don't have to keep anyone quiet. Right. He told the driver to go to Michael's house, remove a suitcase and a bag, bring them to <laughs> his, bring him to his place. <laughs> and he go and they go. You didn't think that was there was any, something wrong with that because it said uh, a child molestation or something yeah. along the pedophilia, whatever. And uh, you didn't think that was weird. And he went, no. But then yeah, that was it. it. That was it. it. He's like, no. But I don't know if he was like, no, I pick up a lot of yeah. documents. You He's know what like, I mean? No. They, they cut it. The <laughs> fucking producers. What dicks? Everybody's uh, a dick, FYI. The maid uh, had seen Little Boy's Undies in Michael Jackson's room. I mean, if you knew how he grew up, it's, it's collected that sort of stuff. <laughs> Anthony told the maid, he's like, Michael Jackson loves you, all right? He doesn't want you to say anything to the cops, honey. 
<laughs> That's terrible. That would be the best way to say He doesn't want you to say anything to the cops, honey. Oh, he okay. called me honey. Do a little sugar on the back Thank of that. you, Anthony. <laughs> it's okay. This fucking idiot. Uh, th- I love the journalist from Hard Copy. Remember Hard yeah. Copy in the 80s and 90s? Old school. Yeah, real old school. <laughs> so the ju- this journalist, <laughs> she thinks Anthony's, because uh, she's reporting on Michael Jackson. I think she broke the case. Yes. The story. She hears her phone like making clicking noise and stuff, which so she's like, she immediately thought Anthony Pelicano because everyone everyone knew agreed he was wiretapping. It and was what like an she open, did was brilliant actually. So she's like, oh, this motherfucker wants to wiretap me. Yeah. So she has her husband call her at work, and he goes, hey, how's that documentary you're making about Anthony Pelicano? She said within five minutes, her boss came in and said, I just heard from this entertainment lawyer. What's this thing you're doing about Anthony Pelicano? Yeah. And she just completely made Whoa, it up. Oh, shit. I was like, yeah. what a great move. Smart, smart. But and, also, in the 80s and 90s, everybody was tapping phones. Did you ever have your phone tapped? Uh, not that I know of. Weirdos. I mean, I wasn't I'm associated kidding. with people who <laughs> want to tap. My mother's phone was tapped. It was shocking. The whole 80s. Uh, this is what would happen. You would really hear that. You would hear them go off. I think they can only listen for a certain amount of time, and then they have to go off Yeah. on and off. Like, if you're not talking. It was annoying because we used to yell at them. But what happened to my mom's phone was this guy got arrested. <laughs> he went to prison. Gary, we love you. But And so he um, nobody would take his phone calls. So my mother would accept the charges. And if you accepted a charge from prison, they tapped your phone. So I was like, you got to stop taking Gary's calls. <laughs> like <laughs> to this day, he still calls my brother Bobby on Friday nights. <laughs> From prison? Uh, no, he's not in prison oh, anymore. He's been out. Got he's it. He's had some crazy, <laughs> by the way, would have been like, we would be, he would, he was like our Larry Bird. He was like phenomenal basketball player, this guy. He was and Gary like Bird. Recruited, like people were coming after him, but got hooked on drugs. He must have been great in prison leagues. Unbelievable. And still, even like after the drugs really took a toll on him, he could still fucking throw down. I remember <laughs> I, Dice was with me in the neighborhood and his two kids, and, and Andrew was like, Who's that guy? I'm like, No, 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 that's Gary. He's cool. But like, if you saw him, you'd go the other way. <laughs> like, if you didn't know. But I was like, No. And then he played, and, and he was like, Oh, he can really play basketball. I'm like, Uh huh. <laughs> that Dice man loves He, he respects never lost basketball that. talent. <laughs> Everyone knows well, that he about just, him. Well, like Gary's presence was, you know, he always looked kind of, because the drugs fucked him up, but. Didn't he play basketball in a trench coat? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Gary. <laughs> With, and he had a bag of cans that he'd carry in one hand. <laughs> I hope this guy's not oh, violent. Dear, I don't want him is. coming after me. Yes, Gary. I need Sicilian. You're big, in big trouble Gary, now. Gary, <laughs> I'm not a sin eater. I don't want any problems. <laughs> I'm not saying his last name for real. In high school, uh, this is my version of this hard copy. Oh, we okay. hung around with this uh, girl, and she would like she would say like every, anything we told her, she would spread it around. Oh, I love that. And so one day I was like, you know what? Fuck this. You know she's a gossip. So a buddy of mine had like a doctor's appointment or something, and she's like, where's so-and-so? And I was like, oh, he got in like a bad car accident. I was like, don't tell anyone, though. And like it, within like 20 minutes, like people were coming up to me, and I was like, you know what? Don't f-. And then she found out, and I was like, stop fucking saying shit that you don't know what to be saying. <laughs> and then when my friend got to school, I was like, are you all right? And he's like, wait, what? What happened? I'm like, <laughs> just, I was like, sorry, I had to prove a point to somebody. Yeah, we're just outing people. <laughs> We're outing gossip whores. Um, <clears throat> Anthony, though, in uh, 93, just he resigned from the Michael Jackson case. He didn't say why. It's nobody's business. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm out of here. I got better I things it. to do. Yeah. They show the, uh, the they show the Michael Jackson kid in 2019. He's come a long way. He doesn't look like Eminem anymore. Doesn't no. talk like that anymore. <laughs> he He's a real sad. adult. That's really sad if it's true. Like, it really breaks my heart. I know that for a fact. <laughs> I was like, who's this kid? Like, I really do feel bad for the... But what well, was Anthony's a little quiz for he you? He did well, get to go to Neverland. What was Anthony's nickname for himself to clients? Uh, oh... You stole it from a musician. Oh, Prince of Darkness. I'm the Prince of. Darkness. I'm the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> this That's guy it. really wants to be a character. <laughs> I'm the Sin Eater. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I'm the Prince of. Dar- yeah, he loves to call himself all kinds. If of anyone, shit. you look at this guy. Nobody he, has given him nicknames. No. He gives them to himself. Yeah, he's Kobe Bryant. Exactly. Who gave himself? <laughs> call me the Mamba. Wait, why? Because I'm the Mamba. Okay. <laughs> it's like nicknames are supposed to be given to you, not yeah, you yeah, give yeah. them yourself. 
Guys, uh, this week I want to be known as the Prince of Darkness <laughs> and the Sin Eater, all right? By the way, you're going to get in trouble with Johnny Fax because he loves Kobe. Good. So. He should. He's a great man. Celtics fans. Uh, they get into Gary <laughs> Shandling. I remember this case. Oh, yeah. This is a big case. Up. So on the show, uh, Linda Doucette, I believe her name was. She played Larry, like the secretary. It was his girlfriend as well. Long-term girlfriend. Life. Yeah. Um, I think she was an ex. Was she ex Playboy or not? Whoa! I don't know if I'm. I could be wrong on that. I think, or maybe on the show she was. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the show was great. Oh yeah, they great don't make show. shows like that anymore. You know the best. She. <laughs> he's great on that show, <laughs> Tambor, <laughs> the Tambourine. But what a talent! The writers, everybody on there. Rip Torn, great. Yeah, Rip Torn. It's free cake. What a great <laughs> clip. <laughs> she wanted kids. Gare Bear didn't. Yeah, Gare Bear's not into it. Gare Bear with two R's. Very rare spelling for Gare Bear. They decided to break up, but they're like, let's make the good play and still work together. Uh, she, they're like, sign this. They brought her. She yeah. said it was like as thick as a phone book. She signed it. She just signed it because she trusts Gary. Yeah. So she was just like, yeah, yeah. And sure. then they shit canned her. Uh, she sued Gary and Brillstein and Gray, Brad Gray, mm-hmm. uh, who was Gary's manager. I it, didn't get this. Was It is kind of fucked was up. Was Tony Tech working on the side of Gary? Was he working on Brad Gray's side? So, I didn't really get who he was with. So he was um, on Brad Gray's side. And when the girl sued them, Bra- Gar- I get, I'm assuming Gary heard about this guy through Brad. Okay. Because Brad's the bigger... Yes. You know, Gar- we love Gary, of course, but Brad, that's that's higher up. Like, yeah. This is the producer, manager, and he was double dipping. So In this case, they found out, and it came out. 100%. That Brad Gray was uh, stealing money from Gary Shanley. A lot. To the tune of like $100 million or something. So when she was suing them, like, they, Gary knew what was going on, like this dude, and then... It turned, Gary was like, oh, fuck you. You're stealing from me. Yeah. You're double dipping. I think they covered it in the show as well. I think Gary happening. got a huge settlement, didn't he? got he? a huge settlement. He won that case. It fucked he, up Burlstein Gray. It became- I would have guessed. It well, became Burlstein real quick, and Brad was out because he it was causing too much heat on the management company, which was hugely lucrative. Kevin Nealon had a great joke at Unbelievable. Gary Shandling's memorial. <laughs> his dry delivery. He's like, I'm going to miss our phone calls. You, you can hear him choking up. That's so yeah, good. he's like, it's just me and Gary and Anthony Pelicano. <laughs> <laughs> was it was having all the calls. Kevin Nealon is so <laughs> funny. Gary dying. Shandling, one of my favorite comics. Anytime I hear Gary, I just can't. I can't hear. I always hear Mitzi. It's, it's Mitzi, like the same, Gary, Louie. It's all the Louis same. Louie Anderson. They yes. all have and Roseanne. They yes. all have that. It's like, all the same and evolution and of. And Gary, are they all Midwest? Is yeah, Gary Gary's Mid- Chicago, I think. Okay. Or something. Where's Louie? Oh, Milwaukee. No, like, yeah. Think. No, um, uh, Mitzi was Wisconsin, Minnesota. The Louis. land of butter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then Roseanne's Colorado y, but she still has that whiny. But anyway, I remember Gary Shandling, he was, this is how nervous, like when you watch Gary on TV and you see that uncomfortableness, Yeah, it's so him. It was, <laughs> he literally walked in the comedy store and I remember he walked out and I was standing in the hallway by the main room with Mitzi and we were talking and Gary walked up and he didn't see Mitzi and she went, Gary. And his whole demeanor changed like, oh. Fuck, Mitzi's he, here. He couldn't he even. He never liked coming to the. Did you see the store. comedian cars with him? Yes. He was with Seinfeld, yes. and he's like, I don't like being in here. He it was during the day. He didn't yes. even like walking in the hallway. And so I was like, it's a great club, but he's His like, whole <laughs> body. He started sweating, and she goes, "There's Gary. Gary, this is Eleanor. I Tell think, her that joke you did." I think it's because he heard himself. But but there was a joke. Apparently, there was a joke that he wouldn't let go that he kept using in a showcase so she didn't pass him for over almost seven years it's dedication and yeah so his, his doc is tremendous where he's writing letters mitzi's a cunt mitzi's a this he's to a, his he, parents he became a big zen yeah, guy yeah, though yeah. but it would happen so she he's sweating by the way he was hosting either the emmys or 
the gra- something big like that the next night. <laughs> and I think he was just looking to work out and she made him so nervous, he left. <laughs> and I was like, you're it. still afraid of this woman? You're hosting the Emmys. He was a big boxer. You should have gone <laughs> a couple doing? rounds with her. It was so funny. He goes, oh, okay. Okay, good to see you, Mitzi. And he <laughs> just and left. left. He cried, went and cried in I was the like, car. Where's he? It's Gary Shandling. Why isn't he going on? <laughs> so great. I love the Gary Shandling show on Fox. <laughs> remember that? No. Do you remember that? Is that the same? It was the same idea? Or? No, it was. It was different. No, I don't think early. I know that one. Oh, you missed out. I think I only know the the other one was on HBO, right? Uh, yeah, Larry Sanders. Yeah, that's the one I like. That's uh, the one I know and would love. Sarah Silverman? Yeah. yeah. Was they, on- They dated. Yeah, but she was on the later one? She was yes, on- the, Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you like the clip of- uh, Marilyn Rice Cub also was oh, on Oh, yeah, it. she yeah. was. I don't know who said this, but there was a cl- clip of, I want you to beat this motherfucker to death. <laughs> I was like, okay. Here's where your favorite- Now I'm up. Here's where your favorite character comes in. Detroit's own- My favorite- his, Jude this is Green. I don't know if she got any money, <laughs> if she's willing to invest, but look, when she was like, my dad raised- I'm from Detroit. You don't come at me. I'm like, yeah, bitch. What were they? They were messing with her because she was getting divorced. So, and then they wanted a post nuptial on the new guy. That Larry guy. What was his name? Wait, Leonard. Leonard. There it is. The businessman. Yeah. So he's a businessman. He meets them. They're in Aspen. Yeah. I'm assuming she lived there. She lived there. Yeah, she lived there. Right. Because he made her move to L.A. Yeah. So this guy comes in, flirts with her kids. Technically, playing tic tac toe, like yeah, he's, okay, he's I'm using make the, the kids, kids to get laugh. to her. Uh, so you, you got a hot mom. Let me fuck around. Wait, somebody say kids. <laughs> Michael, you knew say, how I grew Michael. up. <laughs> me and Michael have the same birthday, so I have to be nice to it's him. The day before mine, I know it. So, uh, so here, so whatever. So he's flirting with the kids, and then he's the kids are like, we got a ski date with him tomorrow, and then all of a sudden. They get, he's, they're in love. Yeah. He makes her, he's like, you got to leave your husband. You get separated. You got to get divorced. She, he speeds it up. Yeah. Gets divorced, moves her to LA. And he's like, by the way, sign this post nuptial. Then, and then all of a sudden, like, who who was he a business for in and out? Like this guy, he, they were, it was like a year. Yeah. He was moving quickly. He moved Was he dying maybe? He was like, we got to get this going. I don't know, but he also started that, like, if you can put 15% down on a house, why can't you buy a business like that? Holy shit. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's pretty, (laughs) that's terrifying. (laughs) A lot of business go uh, (laughs) out of business quickly, but he, he, that's what I'm saying. He was in and out of it. And then he's like. Just expects her not to be like, hey, I need to be compensated. You totally uprooted me. Yeah. And, and then, then they start wiretapping her. Pelicano comes in. It's a bullshit thing. It's a money thing. Like, oh, I got to get rid of this bitch. I don't want to pay her nothing. I just want to get rid of her. She said, I'm from Detroit. You don't mess with women from Detroit. My father taught me how to beat up a man. <laughs> That's a great quote. <laughs> Female Fight Club. Let's do this. Philly and Detroit. You guys Fuck should yeah. meet up. Number one. You should have a lunch date with this lady just to talk. I'll I'll do it if she has any money she wants to invest. She does have two sons, so I hope she's raising them not to do weird shit. They're adults now. No, yeah, of course. Did you notice she said she was driving her dog and she pronounced it Shih Tzu instead of Shih Tzu? I've always heard Shih Tzu. Is that wrong? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. She's like, I was driving my Shih Tzu to the groomer. At first I was like, is this a kind of car? And then I was like, (laughs) oh, no, that's a dog. Pelicano, uh, tough guy Tony, blocks her car and he he parks well, behind was her. Was it him or somebody else? No, it was, it was, it was him. Because then he followed her. She shoves him. So she has proof that it was him because the way he, this is where I was getting confused. I'm like, I, th- I thought it was somebody else. One of his no, henchmen. This was one of his, this is because there's a lady. So he's like, oh, I can do this one. Oh, motherfucker. So she shoves him. She goes into a coffee shop to be like, this guy's following me. <laughs> he goes right in behind her and like bumps into her. She she shoves him back, turns and punches him in the face. I love Said it. stepped on his body that was on the <laughs> ground and walked out. She goes, I just stepped over him Jesus. or something like that. She should say something funny. I laughed. And I was like, this is her. This is me and her starting this female like getting on board with these female fight clubs, but we're going a little younger. We're going younger. These are, you know, women trying to get in shape. We're going younger. Fighting guys. You look like Billy Crystal. We're starting to fuck guys up with weird jackets over there. They eventually started threatening her sons. So she's like, all right, let's settle. Fuck it. I'm done. 
Why why would you do that? But Anthony says in the end when they start interviewing him, he never threatened kids. He's, he's, but that's what I'm saying. He also a good said guy. he never threatened her. He said he he's, never did any of it. He's not a bully. He's a good guy. <laughs> Come on. Everyone knows Tony the tech man. Tony. He's not Tony the tough guy. Tony Tapper. <laughs> Couldn't tap his way Just out of this tap, one. Tap, 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 tap He's all in. tapped out. This little shit. Uh, then my boy, uh, if you've heard Danish and O'Neill, you heard, you know, we're a huge fans. Steven Seagal. Oh, yeah, wait. But she said, I stepped over him like roadkill. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it made me so happy. I think she pissed I just on said, him. That's it. Uh, <laughs> from Wow Women of Wrestling, that's what my uh, partner, Charlie Davidson, would say. We're going to leave you like roadkill. Well, maybe she <laughs> was a fan. Yeah. Seagal's uh, producing partner was caught up in a sweep of the Gambino family. Mm-hmm. And uh, this journalist, uh, Anita Bush, I think her name was. Uh, that's seems a great like a name, name Bart Simpson would call Mo <laughs> the bartender with. Anita Bush? Anita Bush. I need a more Bush. Wait, what? <laughs> the journalist uh, had her windshield. That's all I could think about was her name. I know. <laughs> this I'm poor sorry, lady, lady was put through the fucking <laughs> ringer. The whole she time, was dead inside. I was walking around my apartment, like r- getting ready because I'm going out of town. So I'm like packing, kind of. And I'm like, I need a Bush. I need- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm uh, a toddler. So she had uh, her windshield smashed in with a dead fish and a rose oh, in its school. mouth with a sign that says stop. <laughs> Little arts and crafts. Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. She oh, gets yeah. an anonymous call saying, uh, I heard someone was going to blow up your car. <laughs> Classic. Another. Who'd you hear from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know after. Uh, so then this is where they, episode one, the end, is where they bring out their big bombshell. We got tough guy Tony interviewing himself. Wait, wait, also, I didn't recognize him because they just showed him now. And I was like, who the fuck is yeah, that I was guy? Like, oh, that guy. Who's that guy? And so I was like, I thought he was another person. That he's was completely gonna... bald. He has a gray beard. He looks like the guy in uh, Again, with the Breaking Bad. better than that, whatever he had going on. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, the tough guy. I forget his name. Oh, shit. He looks like that guy. Jonathan Banks. Yep. Jonathan Banks. There Thank you go. You. You were doing something back there. Why did I they? You. Episode two starts with a recap. Who starts watching an episode two out of and they're like, <laughs> exactly. what the fuck am I watching? I just watched episode one. This I don't is need why a recap. I don't watch reality TV. Have you ever watched like, um, I don't know, 90 Day Fiance or Best uh, Show on TV? Uh, Kardashian, any of that shit. L- literally, even if it's a commercial, not another episode, a fucking commercial, they recap. They're like, you guys are so stupid. But and it's that's like, what I they're sh- telling you. I, I, I want you to know that they're telling you you're so fucking dumb. I'm sorry. How long? Like, uh, I don't take I, years I, between I, two I, episodes. I'm like, hey, it's been 10 years. Commercials. I'll just, and I'll just watch the whole first thing. I don't need a recap. But also when you said that he called her and he was like, um, you know, hey, somebody wants your call. Yeah. She, who'd you hear that from? She she went into well, journalism. She said, yeah, like I was trying I was to like, solve the case. That's pretty impressive. That lady, lady. was like a diehard journalist. And, like, she's like, my I job mean. was like above anything. Right. So she's like, Even okay, her I'm going to get some weird threats. I'm going to get some weird yeah. this. But then- Obviously, this fucker went too far. What a creep. This part was bizarre. So they have they have Tony Tech Man, Tony the Tapper. Yeah. He sits in a chair, and he's like, you want me to straddle this? I'm like, is this like uh-huh. I don't know how to sit in a chair? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what I, kind I of like question? looking at a nice lady. I like yeah, that's, and he's like, uh, he's like, is this what you want to do? <laughs> yeah, that's what he tells the lady working the camera. I like looking at pretty girls. I'm like, ugh, this creep. Uh, he says he's been wiretapping since the 60s. Himself. Old school. Sure. He learned it early on. And then he's like, I broke the law all the time. So did other private investigators, <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> he's like, I like to say bend the law. He's like, and then he said- yeah, he, that's what they all say. It's annoying. Yeah. You break the fucking law. It's breaking the law. He said he law. never bullied anyone. You're full of shit. No, just had a baseball bat. Just some bully tactics and you a baseball pussy. bat. You pussy. You pussy, Tony. Uh, they I mean, search. I'm not going to call you a pussy t- because you, you know, you're available. Maybe. No, he's a pussy. Now that he's out of jail, and he's rich. Because <laughs> uh, of the Seagal stuff, they search the Fed, search Tony's office. Right. They said they see more computers in one place than they've ever seen. Ever. It's a lot of computers. They're like, "What's in the safe?" This and idiot- a lot of girls with big boobs. This guy like, opens. Wait, everybody has a breast <laughs> implant <laughs> here. Like, oh, this is, is interesting. I'm seeing a pattern. Not one man in the office besides <laughs> you, Tony. That's odd. Tight sweaters and okay. <laughs> Why are they topless? <laughs> uh, they found a safe. Like New Jack City. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I don't want them stealing nothing. <laughs> 
They they say open the safe. This guy's got two live hand grenades and plastic explosives. I mean, he claims, "Oh, I forgot those were in there. I took them from a client." That's Shocker. like the back room at my dad's typewriter store. So <laughs> it's, it's, I don't well, see yeah, a problem. That's a that's all in. Jest. I don't see a problem. <laughs> <laughs> But so, I also I, I like what his excuse was. I take I had to took take him from, him from a, from a client, client and forgot. But here's the thing: like I'm, uh, I have friends, family members that had to take certain weapons from friends because they could hurt themselves or do something stupid. So yeah. I what, believe they, that do they keep them in the safe. They do. <laughs> yeah. Do you does the guy like leave his license and then he gives it back when he exchanges <laughs> them back? <laughs> He's like, I'm here to pick up the hand grenades. I'm a little more stable. He's like, guy, you're going to get in trouble with those. Let me put them in here. And then he <laughs> forgot. This is probably the only thing I believe that he said, <laughs> that he forgot it was in there. <laughs> because He's like, he's ask the, the FBI. King. I was shocked. He's the king of cover-up. He's like, I was shocked they were in there. <laughs> but he's the king of cover-up. So he j this is one of the only times that I looked at him and said, okay, right there, he's not lying. But he also seems he like he was working 80 was cases there. at once. So sure. Who knows? Sure. I don't. It's hard to say. So he was arrested for having that stuff. Uh, someone at the hearing told the FBI, like they they like I have information about him wiretapping. Right. That was and that was the first. They were like, wait, what? And so then they were like, let's dig on this. Dig uh, on this. So they go back to his office <laughs> and they say all the computers they saw are gone. Yeah. He shredded everything. The entire Michael Jackson case gone. I can't remember if uh, the girl who was singing against him. Um, had big boobs or not i don't you couldn't see she was wearing like baggy ears yeah like, yeah sweater, there's like, always somebody who's gonna sing you know and i loved what she said like we had all these calls and at the end it would be omerta you know, omerta and because I'm like, he's oh a so she doesn't know what that means <laughs> he, no, but he's a phony <laughs> what what mob guy is gonna use omerta as a password 100%. it's a kid playing dress up exactly exactly so they had to decrypt all anthony's code on his uh devices because he was uh the code man. yeah <laughs> He's a code. They man. interviewed the feds, interviewed you can't stay away from this guy. Stallone gets called in by the feds. You know, this is where you lost me, Tony the Tiger. He's going when against you start Stallone. Fucking, Stalo fucking around with Stallone. We're going to meet. We're going to get in a room. He's going to look in my eyes. I'm going to look in his eyes. Yeah, Tony's in going to look in my eyes. He's going to intimidate him. I'm like, you're not going to fucking scare him. Then we're going to kiss on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Come on. Fuck hey, her honey. <laughs> let's drop the case. Look, let's honey. Let's out a little bit. Let's Wait. work out. Let's box. Because <laughs> Stallone has big tits. <laughs> Let me suck your tits, oh, honey. I'm kidding. That's my boyfriend. Uh, so the feds do go after one of his employees. I first heard her name as Tree DeVirtue. I was like, this is a rapper? But her name is Tarita <laughs> Virtue. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> two, two uh, words. <laughs> I thought it was Tree DeVirtue. <laughs> Uh, eventually, she started listening to wiretaps. That was her job. So she would just like right. detail the calls. So she's just writing this down. Like, oh, this is that'd interesting. be an interesting job, by the way, to just to hear idiots. I w was thinking that, like, <laughs> oh, he's got, what the fuck? This guy's crazy. This guy's, well, this guy's in some serious trouble. Anthony's not going to be able to get this one out. Well, this guy hasn't been feeling well for right. a few weeks. <laughs> like, I hope he hope he doesn't break up with his girlfriend. They sound like a good couple. Uh, so then, uh, Anthony. Anthony made a, I'll give him this, he designed a computer program called Telesleuth. Tony Tech. Telesleuth's a real shitty name for a program. <laughs> He's not good with the names. He had sources at phone companies who would help him get illegal wiretaps set up. So he wasn't even doing a lot of this. He was paying. Sure, he's pay that's what I'm saying. He's charging 25 grand. And none of that money's going to his suits. We saw that. So it's really going to pay in other people. To find shit. He had cops on uh, on his books. But cops on payroll. That's the other thing. Like, everybody's willing to sing. Everybody's willing to be crooked. Everybody, you know, money. Yeah, yeah. Money talks. What did he say? He said this um, line. I forgot to say it. It's all a matter of, it's all a matter of time and money, honey. <laughs> That's what he said. Look, honey. It's all a matter of time and money, honey. <laughs> I was like, that is so. That should be the slogan of your. <laughs> Anthony said, uh, "A real gem to work for." Verbally abusive to the women. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he would throw things. Those are the tits you're going out with. He would throw. Like, he would throw a stapler at your tits. That's why they need fake ones. I told you, get new ones. <laughs> Whoa. He'd encourage female f f employees to get the uh, cosmetic surgery. Yeah, I need you to stand and squat. I don't need your flat <laughs> asses in this. Okay. But, he, hey, he says, I was a father figure to a lot of women there. I was a savior. That's a hell of a father figure. I'd tell abusive boyfriends to straighten out. 
This guy's a real 1950s fucking idiot. That's exactly what it is. Hey, you better straighten out. Better I, straighten I abuse up. her, not you. Yeah. I'm the one who tells her what to do. I bought those tits. <laughs> <laughs> I own her. He, okay. he took a picture with three of the women from his office. I'm like, this guy fucking Charlie's worst, Angels? Worst boss ever. You could see it even in that picture. No, but I mean, I think this is nice family atmosphere. On oh, Monday, yeah. female employees would have to give him a hug and a kiss <laughs> and tell him how their weekend was. And on right. Friday, he had to kiss him goodbye. And he said he said he would always try to sneak it for the lip kiss. <laughs> and he's like, "We, I kissed everybody. We were all very close. And it's like, yeah, no one wanted to be close with you. You know what? Like that, I, I swear they prey on certain women. This is again back to this club. We're going to start with the lady from <laughs> Detroit. We're going to get it going. Um, because like even in my apartment building that I had this <laughs> manager who lived there and uh, Annie moved in, Annie Letterman. Yeah. And she was like, he's a pervert. And I'm like, he is? Because he never like hit on me. Yeah. She goes, and, and then she goes, she went to give him like a kiss on the cheek, like a normal, like a hug and a kiss. Because yeah. he was really like affectionate guy. And he turned and tried to get it on the lips. She's oh. like, ow! <laughs> she, I, I'm like, oh, because she's hot. <laughs> you know? He's you like, need, I don't know. You need her in the female fight club. I got to get, yeah. The part, Annie, one of the classes is pervert. She per- threw him off, though. She beat him up. One of the parts is pervert detection. <laughs> early class. <laughs> but yeah, she was on it. I was like, fuck, she. And then she goes, you know he's a pervert. I go, what? She goes, I go, how do I know he's a pervert? She go, he used to say to you, we showered together tonight. And I go, oh, yeah, but it was because he could hear me turn my water on. I didn't know he was in there rubbing one out because I was. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm gonna shower too." My fault. I thought this was a. <laughs> and he's like, "We slept together last night." <laughs> <laughs> it's like everyone was sleeping. He's just rubbing the wall. <laughs> it was nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> I was in your apartment when you were my home. Ex, my ex was like, "Hey, I don't like him." He felt something on him. He goes, "Hey, I don't like him. I think he comes in here and smells your underwear when we're not at home." And I'm like, "Oh my god, that's the worst thing." <laughs> <He> <laughs> said. Think about he does have keys. Does he do this? It's quite a leap. <laughs> he should have wiretapped your underwear drawer. Yes. Ronnie would have. Uh there was a nice recording of Anthony just absolutely screaming at a female employee because she she went into his room no. while, while he was on a call and she's like, I got so and so. He's like, What the fuck are you fucking doing? Now let me I'm on the phone. Did they get that from the tap? Yeah, it was on the tap. Oh, okay. Cause I was thinking that I was like, or are these ladies like no, they had furious with it. Well, they had the, they were wired him. between their fake tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had a little fake. <laughs> they could smuggle it in for sure. They had a, a full recorder in there, <laughs> like an old one. They had to hit the thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> had the handle. An anyway. employee there caught it, old Tony Tech tapping his ex-wife, not yeah. fucking her. He was wiretapping her. <laughs> And she's like on the call. She's like, Are you, you're tapping. W- stop wiretapping me. He's like, oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> she's like, we, I What's know you. Big deal? She's like, I know you're doing it. I'm not. I'm just listening. I want to make sure this you're fucking okay. Fucking scumbag. Uh, he shoved a female employee because she was quitting. And he says, no one quits here. And she ran out. She's like, see ya. <laughs> Try catching me, Billy <laughs> I'm Crystal. I'm the prince of darkness. He's like, I'm slow as shit. He's, uh, he's obviously not the runner. <laughs> Uh, it was hard to tell his age. He could have been 40s when they were showing him. Like he was right. Because but now he's older. He's 75 now. Again, just you know, what the he just aged gracefully. It's annoying because they always say. Well, he's that. wearing a beautiful jacket when they interview him now. It's like yeah, a, yeah, so yeah. Is that suede? Uh, what I, is that velvet? <laughs> sexy that's what it is uh while he's uh awaiting sentencing he does a kiss ass move this is what it pisses me off about this guy he wants to be a gangster right but then he submits thank you notes from law enforcement for all the time he worked with them to be like hey i need lenient sentencing i'm friends with the cops <laughs> so he's trying to play everybody yeah that's what i'm saying. but he had everybody in his pocket too yes so it's like he can go around they caught him. He had two cops in his, uh, yeah. He, of course. He, they were accessing protected databases for him, giving him all sorts of info. But most private detect, private eyes, whatever you want to call them, private detectives, do that. They go to police yes. and they, you know, get a way in and that's how they find shit on people. They don't just follow somebody around. They get all the information first. Here's uh, a Tony tip. I have tip. a friend that's a detective. We should have called him. Yeah, I remember Shit. that. Here's a Tony tip. Mm-hmm. He was on one of his calls. He's like, you know, here's something you can do. You find out someone's had two, three abortions. Maybe your parents don't know. And you're like, hey, it'd be a shame if they found this out. You use it as leverage. I'm like, what a nice guy. Nice. 
so cute. What a cool Such move. Such sweet leverage. He wasn't a bully. He was a savior. No. Sin eater. While he was saying that, he had a baseball bat in his hand, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> that's just how he rolls. Uh, he says he'd never threaten that lady, Linda Doucette, Gary Shandling's ex, threatened her son, even though someone said, like, hey, your son's not going to go to this school anymore. That They named it. Yeah. Like, that'd be a shame. And she was, like, panicked. He's like, I never would do that. I wonder who it was. Hmm. He's not going to, but this is, again, what I'm saying with the omerta. He really takes it to heart because he's not saying anything. No, he's silent. But he's being paid to be silent. Uh, the journalist in the Seagal thing got someone beat the shit out of her. Oh. She didn't report it because she was scared. Yeah. Uh, and they. This is Anita Bush. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need Anita mo- Bush. Need, and then they were like, "Anita oh. Wax." Oh. It's her cousin. I need a Brazilian. <laughs> um, it was. Uh, it was my thing. Is, is she? They were saying, "Oh, they were trying to discredit her so bad." Like obviously, when this was going on, they're like, "There was no attack." Yeah. It, was, it was all fake because she didn't go to the police. That's what Tony Tech said. But why didn't she go to the police? Because she did go to the police the first time. She said she was terrified. And they say they called her and like, if you don't stop helping the cops, we're going to come back and kill you and harm your family. And so she's like, yeah, I'm not saying shit. But and she had the FBI. She had the cops the first time. Were they all on his side? I don't know. I think this wasn't enough evidence. Right. He um, just manipulated it. And he's like, yeah, I, I didn't never threaten her. That's, uh, it never even happened. I don't think she was even beat up. It's like, okay, dude. Deny, deny, deny. He gets 30 months in prison for the stuff they found in the safe. Right. This is where they start showing the prison pictures of Tony. So which, good. So, who's taking them and who's, how are they getting okay, out? And why is it a group shot? Why is it like <laughs> they graduate it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was great. I was like, holy shit. I've gotten pictures from prison. And it's usually a single, they're down, they're low. You know what I mean? Remember yeah. this one where they bend down? Are these something? guards? Is this like a favor? Like who's That's taking them? They don't Maybe have cameras. Maybe he's helping them. Maybe he's helping them figure out how to win their cases or get. I, I, I don't know. But it is so funny. Those the one they're sitting on like a small section of bleachers and he's in the middle of all of them. He's like an it's old. our basketball team. Is he's, it? He's like, like an old bald man with gray hair. This is <laughs> great. <laughs> and they don't they don't look like him like you're like you're like one of these things is not like the yeah others. <laughs> no these guys some of them look rough and real rough i'm like he doesn't belong in this one but again i was trying to see if it was a maximum or minimum i mean yeah or max to the minimum tj max. max to the minimum it was a tj max that's who <laughs> brought the clothes in tj max that's, <laughs> that's what it looks that's like that's who he was dressing <laughs> Uh, this dipshit recorded all his own calls, which they said he was the biggest informant against himself. Yeah. Because he every call he had with uh, celebrities, he like got rid of them, but all his own calls were kept. <laughs> this dipshit. So stupid. Uh, I saw my old manager's name in one of the wiretap summaries. Really? Yeah, he was a big time manager back in the day. Okay. I was like, that's pretty cool. Well, you know, look at that. It's, You're like, you, he was doing big things. Yeah, not he for me, but for well. somebody. <laughs> Did you get any threats? Uh, yeah, I get a lot of threats. <laughs> They're like, leave L.A. And I'm like, I might. I might. Don't uh, have to ask me twice. Anthony goes down with the cops, the clients, uh, and the phone company employee. Like, a bunch of them get taken in. Uh, he chose great move. You never hear this move going well, ever. He chose to okay. represent himself in court. Always funny. And he's like, why Always would I? Always funny. No one knew the case better than me. And why give a lawyer money? Because I know I'm going to be guilty. <laughs> His confidence should be bottled and sold. One right? of the journalists said Pelicano's buffoonery became a distraction in court. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get, I'd buy his confidence before I could buy fake tits. That's how much. That's amazing. That Look, honey. Like, can you imagine? That's him. Honey, your <laughs> honor. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You will not address me as honey. He never calls him <laughs> your honor. He only calls him honey. Honey, <laughs> take it down a notch. If you call me honey one more time, you'll be in contempt of court. Look, I'm honey. Put that grab up your ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they said he would fucking cross examine people. One lady for I would five die, days straight. Die laughing. The lady who worked for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five days. Didn't you come in late that day? I would have been like, fuck you, Tony. Didn't you? You know, I could just see him. Tony, you he, bought me fake tits. I would have humiliated He him. knew how to manipulate her. And make her, I'm sure, just sure. trying to fuck with her. So he, oh, that must have been great. 
<laughs> well, they said that uh, I don't. Did I skip ahead or the they, Pelic, the uh, Pelicano virus? <laughs> I forget why. <laughs> they brought in your girl Jude Green, Detroit's own. Yeah, on the stand. She comes. She's like, I'll fucking. Because some people it. were like, I didn't want to stare him down. Like I felt uneasy. Linda Doucette was like, I didn't want to like have him well, question me. She wasn't. She didn't go to the female fight club. She didn't learn how to defend herself as a, a young girl and punch a guy in the dick when, or in the stomach or the face. So Jude Green said, I stared him down. I can't wait for him to say one nasty thing to me. I'll just pulverize him. This lady's brutal. She looks small, too. This lady's Good a pit bull. Her. I love her. She said when she got off the stand, girl, she would- find me. And we're going to start some shit. They said she was like mobbed. And like, oh, you think you did it? You the- did it. You got him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You really told him. And I'm like, she also probably got <laughs> fucked out of a lot of money because of that asshole. <laughs> or I, a livable wage. I was dying when the, the producers did this. They had Tony in a talking head. And he's talking about like, like uh, he's like, I'm loyalty. I'm not going to betray. And they just faded him out. <laughs> they, they faded out his fucking talking head. <laughs> like, they like basically gave him like a whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah we've heard enough. Such assholes. Deny, deny. That's all he did. He gets 15 years. He's bitching about it. it. Was it was an unfair sentence? Fuck you. Go to prison. Go to prison, bitch. <laughs> Go do prison time, honey. Yeah, enjoy yourself, honey. Call an inmate, honey. That should work out well. <laughs> and then the guy's like, oh, you are? We're going to be honey. Growing up, like if you said, like in South Philly, if you said to a girl, excuse me, hon, you could get killed for that. Fat Joe, the rapper, says if you tell him suck my dick, that's uh, a stab-worthy offense. Really? Yeah, stabbing. Fat Joe, I saw him in CVS the other Did, night. I, I hope you didn't say suck my dick. I was going to turn around and be like, suck my dick, but I didn't. No, but it, you, we were talking about how manicured he is, how uh, groomed. The beard is very- He had a lot of also security looks, with him. Also looks very dyed, the beard, very black. It was. It looks like Hulk, Ho- Hulk Hogan in WCW shoe polish. It, is he like reddish? Brownish his skin hair hair oh the hair I think it's like black I it looked yeah it looked maybe lighter but it looked so good because I was like is that oh my god is that what was fat? he what was he buying I don't Did you know. say fat <laughs> hey fatty uh that's the only time he, he lost a bunch of it. weight no he, uh, that's what I'm saying it's funny when because yeah. he looked really good he's like, formerly he's, fat Joe yeah he was making the security guy laugh he was just being silly he's doing bits pretty much and you like was, oh watch this I'm gonna get on the uh <laughs> CBS intercom. <laughs> Yo, what up? And he starts rapping. One. But check. I had just gotten off a flight, and it, it, it was the weekend of the BET Awards. I came in on Monday, so it was late night, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm a, I don't have any water in the house." So CBS was the only thing open, so I went there, and he was in line, and I was like, "Oh, that's him." <laughs> How many security? I would one, two. One was outside. I would say about four. Four? Four. Jeez, this guy the And president? there was a big guy in the car, too. Is this in guy. case someone says, suck my dick? And then a he's white like, guy. I think it was that uh, music guy that was in, um, oh, shit, that new TV show, The Idol. Yeah. Not. You know who was in that? The, the Weekend. Tony. <laughs> he, he was. was. <laughs> he's he said show. it. That's he's, right. He's in he the show. It. But he's in it where? I don't know. I didn't watch the show. I did. Is it good? It's dark. I heard it's controversial. It's not as good as- people are like, as... why is Johnny Depp's daughter like really oh my showing God. all this skin? I When I realized, I, I said, let me look this girl up because she's adorable. But I was like, she's young, this right? is a lot. Yes, very young. And for like an, a, for like one of your earlier projects, kind of bold the lead with like- Bruh. I like, heard it was gratuitous. I didn't see extremely it. Extremely gratuitous. Because what's the one we love? Uh, I can't think of the name Euphoria. of it. Euphoria. Euphoria. Same guy, Sam Levinson. Exactly. That's why I watched it. But then people it. are like, what's with Sam Levinson? Why is he shooting all this all this stuff? Like Apparently, I mean, I'll tell you why he would be in it. Like when I saw that he was in it or whatever, because I'm like, I can't remember him. I can't remember him. I'll have to rewatch it. But it was a lot of cover up. Okay. It was a lot of cover up stuff because I'm not trying to give the plot away, but basically it's like they set up this one of her exes, like a big uh, movie star, and they set him up, kind of, you know, make him take pictures with 
hot girls, and then they're like, oh, he raped her, you know. Is Johnny Depp, away, do you, you know wa- I mean? if this is your daughter, do you watch the show and see your daughter's boobies? All or I you- could think about was like, is Johnny Depp, like, <laughs> I should have hugged her more? Like, it's that Does graphic. he have no, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't take that? I've or... seen all of this kid, and I don't want to, but. Vag? No. Okay. Ass in the air, ass up, you know, thong on. What was that? It was a ghost. What? It was Johnny Depp crying. I heard like a weird it door, was like. like <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was just Johnny Depp crying. It's fine. It we'll be fine. Man, uh, well, good for what's her name? Linda Depp. L- L- Lily. Amber, uh, I just Lily, made... something like that. She was in that movie with Kevin Lily Smith's Rose? daughter. They're best friends. Okay, but it, look, her acting great, but a little. It was a lot. And I enjoyed it. The weekend was fucking hilarious. awesome. I don't. He was terrifying and awesome. At I the can't same get. Time. I don't know the difference. I can't differentiate the weekend and future. Oh. I just. I hear one. Interesting. Like, which one's the one of them piece of shit? Is it future? He like doesn't talk no. to his kids. Oh it's, really? Like, one of them. I don't know oh, which. Oh, I don't want to. I don't think it's the weekend. I I think the weekend grew up in Inglewood. I th- isn't he a uh, LA guy? I don't know. I can't. Uh, I don't know who's who. Because yeah, he does a lot of good things. Was I he naked? It's the weekend. No. I think of course. It, Why would we have men naked? I think if Why you, would we ever do that? But let's show every girl's tits, ass, all of it. If you write a show like this, are you created? Not one cock did I see. Sam Levinson. And I was waiting. But there's a big dick movement in TV. It's I think yeah, overdone. Yeah, it's now. not in there. But don't you think Sam? Oh, Levinson, now it's overdone. <laughs> really? Is it overdone to see tits and ass? No. I think so. I'm Fucking disgusted man by eyes. it. You're sickening. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Sam Levinson should have to be Why? bottomless on set but, at all yes, times. I love this. He's I'll like, do this. He's like, I'll be naked. But I'll say this. in the Okay, so I watched the season, and I did notice that it felt rushed. So I think something happened, and I forgot to look it up because I'm an asshole. But uh, with that show, I think it got canceled, so they rushed the finale. And in the um, in the show, uh, Hank Azarian is in it. Is that the right? Am Hank I saying Azario. It? Right, Azario. Okay, I always say the name wrong, but I love him. Terrific actor. He's doing Apu on the show. He, I, I wish <laughs> that'd be great. But he uh, he makes a call and he goes, okay, now we go to Plan B, and I think that's when he calls this guy. Acting debut. Yeah. Speaking now of acting debut, somebody it. on Twitter sent me your boy, Instagram Zone, Big Time Tommy, <laughs> on I think a show he did with the Dice Man. Oh yeah, they were in uh, Gravesend. Together. What a great scene. Se- uh, season two, Gravesend's a great show. Tommy, great actor. And and the guys who do Gravesend, stop it. The guy, <laughs> because the guy who does it is Here's from what Brooklyn. we're gonna do. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> it was just like his and videos. Be positive. On, it was like right? his videos online. He's like Tommy's <laughs> tip of the day. But he's take it easy. The guy who does it, Willie DeMeo, uh, raises all the money himself and does it himself. Like, you know how we always talk about Hollywood, they never get shit done? Yeah. This guy's raising the money, doing everything himself. The first season was so good that the second season has like Armand Dassant, Dice, uh, big time Chaz, Tommy, Chaz Palminteri, uh, Force, like a big ton time of Tommy. big actors. <laughs> <laughs> Big time, Tommy. I want to thank the Academy and say, take it easy. But I don't want to take away from it because it's supposed to be good. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> my buddy, Anthony Pelicano. I miss my girlfriend, Eleanor. Take it, it easy. Keeping it real. Did it rat right on nobody. Keep it old school for life. <laughs> uh, the journalist asked him about the lawyer, Terry Christensen. Mm-hmm. And Anthony says, okay. You just said your first stupid thing, honey. You're editing so that good. out. <laughs> they did not edit that the out. The way he said it, just so confident. You just said your first stupid thing. Oh, it was so good. I was like, oh, that's your true colors there. Right there. I thought, and I think Anthony's a fucking sucker because he takes all the heat for these lawyers. Right. And then he like, goes down. They don't give up. He, he, he says. He's the sin eater. Let's, oh, not be, let's not forget. That's what he tells himself, <laughs> which is great as he says. He goes, I got out and people gave me money. Not because they like they, that I did it right. rat. It's because they care about me. And in my mind, I'm like, how many of them visited you in prison? Right. How many of them? They couldn't. It would be, they 
get charges hold it, but held against Also, them. they don't want to because they're like, this sure. guy's a piece of shit. You can't even call him. Who does our dirty work and went down for us. Probably laughing. Like, oh, yeah. f- I got all my money, this fucking idiot. He can't even call out of there because I don't know if they still do it, but the government, if you call from prison, they tap your phone. This guy should be tapped. He should be tapped 24 7. It's just a matter Absolutely. of principle. Well, also, I mean, you can say maybe if you believe in God or don't believe in God, but he got out in 2019 and then the world shut down in <laughs> 2020. His, they his, put him back in prison. It was his fault. <laughs> That's the the virus. He gets out at the 75 virus. in 2019. <laughs> so he's what, 78 now? 20, yeah. 20, 79, maybe, depending oh, wow. on his birthday. Okay. Uh, they said, How do you, li- what was it like getting out after such a long time? I came into a country that's no longer patriotic. <laughs> so many wimps and crybabies oh, out there. Cry oh, babies. tough guy. Tony. Bunch of rats out there. You know what that is, though? It's like, what are you going to say? Harvey Weinstein can't do what right. he wants to do anymore? Right. The guy did all that. R. Kelly. Guy put out all that entertainment for you and he can't have a little. These fixers are pussies now. They're not doing their job. <laughs> These fixers. <laughs> yeah, 17 years and not a peep, though. Could you do it? Well, I wouldn't do it. I, like, I'm asking you a question. If you were in what, the How shoes. much money? It doesn't matter. That does matter. A lot. You got to pay for my silence. 17 years. No, fuck Quat, that. Not a fucking peep. And I these remember, lawyers just fucking, the guy's writing his books under a pen name, fiction books. One I always, of these lawyers. I always remember this joke from Earthquake uh, where he's he said, if I get caught, we got caught. That's the Eddie Griffin in front what? of Ari Shafir in the airport. Eddie oh, Griffin saw a woman. Every if time I got I say, AIDS, <laughs> we got AIDS. No, if you got AIDS, we got AIDS. What a line. <laughs> what a pickup line. Man, how did that not end in marriage? <laughs> Oh my God! You're saying that you just said that to a woman, Eddie. That yeah. was crazy. I love that. But it's so most people would, no matter what, if they get caught and somebody else is involved, they're gonna fold somehow. I'll give him fold this. The guy is. He says he's loyal. He is loyal. I'll say that about him. But he is a piece of shit. Oh, a hundred percent a piece of shit. But the other guy, Brett Fields, whatever is it? The Bert other Fields. Lord, Bert. Uh, he he gave him money. Set up a trust. Gave him money, but he also like. I mean, he lived and and still practiced law and died at ninety three. Like it's because you gave him money because he cared about him. It wasn't because he didn't rat. Come on, they're good friends. Yeah. Anthony's yes. back working. I he did, had to put he, money on his book because he loved him. He did the TV show. He was interviewed by Tucker Carlson, yeah, making yeah, the rounds. We should get him on here. Hey, honey. <laughs> well, I would love to have him on. What's going on, yeah, honey? Wait. Yeah, wait. What are you doing? I would just try to piss him off <laughs> subtly go, as much as possible. <laughs> his little dick. I'd wear a padded bra just like, so he didn't get mad at me. I'd be like, let's, let's talk about how shitty America Sorry. is. I'm sick of this anti patriotism <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Anthony, they said, do you have remorse for anything you did? He's like, be wimpy? Fuck no. He's probably upset that he can't vote for Trump because he's a felon. <laughs> yeah, he was, wants to vote for him twice. A million times. He uh, can fix it. A journalist had a great line. He said, if you had $25,000, Pen- Pelican would give you his, law- <laughs> his honor. <laughs> you could buy if, him. If he was charging 25000 just for the initial like it, you know as yeah. a retainer whatever you want to call uh the, it must have been a fucking fortune yeah he made cash yeah he made enough to buy random people tits <laughs> it's not fuck you money that's tit <laughs> money yeah he's like you <laughs> you and tits you. and ass money whatever you're like i don't want it are you fired yeah and if he's like look you need a little facial lift whatever facelift all that shit but what if you start the job with big tits? He has tits? Botox. He's like, I'm not hiring any big tits. He has Botox on Mondays. Like, after you give him a kiss and tell him about your weekend, you have to get Botox. I hope he was on the, the same office. floor as, like, a plastic surgeon. That'd you be just great. go down the hall. Double dipping. <laughs> what they got Gary, what Gary got Brad for. <laughs> uh, another journalist says he was helping ultra-powerful people against people who weren't powerful. So it was like. Sure, but that's what they all do. Just balance. It was just an unfair stacking of the deck. It's all about time and money, honey. <laughs> nah, the shady underworld of Hollywood still probably going on to this day in, in a different definitely, way. Definitely, definitely. They just figure out different ways. That's why that movie or TV show was so intriguing to me because I was like, oh, this still, this shit still happened. You just wanted to see Johnny Depp's daughter naked. I did not know it was her. I had to look it up. How old is she? 22, 23? It's maybe 25? Maybe? 
That's what I'm saying. I I was like, wow, this girl is young, and I'm really. It's, and then the other girls in there too, naked, all of them. You know, they were having. Tough. It's what it's all about. Drugs, music, kidnapping. I mean, it's insane. I get it's in the on. name of a show, but it just seems like a lot. But if you, and again, I feel like it was rushed. It, it, Google is why they got canceled or something. Too Please, much nudity. Thank you. Uh, 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 maybe Johnny Depp was like, we got to shut this down. <laughs> and he called Anthony <laughs> and he's like, hey, my daughter's exposing herself. Anthony's like, well, I'm on episode eight, so it's got to make it to at least there, honey. <laughs> I'll shut it down by going in. You may have called him eight. about Amber Heard, honey, <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> Look, honey. Yeah, I don't. It was something like it got canceled, and I don't know what. And so they had to rush the finale. It's I don't be know what happened. So exactly. awkward on set of like you just come out of lunch and it's like, all right, take your top <laughs> off and your pants, put your ass up in the air. This fucking girl it's just I some mean, guy holding a boom mic actually and... there was one scene where she gets a shower she comes out walks onto her bedroom patio fully naked and leans over while her boyfriend is leaned over like and her ass is up and i'm like and he and he looks at her he's in jeans and a sweatshirt <laughs> and he goes go put some clothes on <laughs> that's what they should have told sam levinson it was, look, is the idol canceled? I, <laughs> it's fucked up. It's a scary, I mean, again, watch it, hug your daughters, hug your children, period, but daughters especially, and don't let them get into show business. If you're going to do nudity, I think just wait, you know? Like, why do it in your early 20s? I mean, if you're going to do it, Taylor Swift it. I don't know what her play, playbook is, but she seems- She's done nudity. Has she? No. You asshole. <laughs> I believe she you. was dating that guy who was like a quasi Nazi. Oh, the lead singer of that band, nineteen seventy five. They're not dating. Did anymore. she? Obviously, she didn't know. So, does she have a song called Quasi? All Nazi? her songs are about not anymore. All her songs are breakups. Right. <laughs> Jesus. One one time, I was driving to Vegas, and my ex was going to come with me, and he got in the car, and I was like, "All right, you know, I have Apple Music, we, whatever you want to play." And he goes, "Oh, I brought the CDs," and I was like, "Okay." And Taylor Swift was in there. Really? And I was like, "You have to get out." You have to get out. <laughs> I couldn't car. name any of her. Me I, either. I think I've heard him probably, but I don't I'm not see. But she seems out. like a sweet girl. She writes constantly. She, like, she's just a hard worker. She obviously dates so that she can write more. John Mayer. <laughs> Stand yeah. up zone. John Mayer. She dated John Mayer. She did. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal. Right. For one of the Joan. One of the something. Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Andrew I, Dice I Clay. Whoa, whoa. I think so, That's, no? I don't think he was in Anthony there. Pelicano. <laughs> Anthony Pelicano. Prop. But I'm just saying, like, what she's doing, even her her show, because she knows little kids are there, She's it's still in some, it's in good taste. It's not t super trash. I think she should start twerking it. But this girl, what they're doing in this show, I shouldn't say this girl, the show, the character, is... Basically, you know, coming up like a Taylor Swift, but everything is sex. I I unbelievable sex. Let's just say it says the show is planned to have six episodes. It seems now that this iteration of the show was always planned to wrap. It's season one story in five episodes and that the six episode version was scrapped. Men's, Men's health. health. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the director left the show due to uh, creative differences, which is probably like, why is the woman? So why is there so many... <laughs> Why is there so much but there's shit? such great everybody in it like her like her team her um you know her team to make her famous like her agents act you know pr people are awesome fucking awesome every one of them is better than the, the black girl i forget her name my absolute favorite i'm in love with her is she naked not at all but she is is fucking anyone naked funny, besides and Depp? she is anthony like <laughs> oh really she's like we'll kill this motherfucker i love her so she's a i fixer. can't think of her name but she's great and i don't know if she's her pr person or management um what the hell is oh, i can't not the weekend i only know Look the, the weekend because my nephew is obsessed with him there she is davina joy and she's from philadelphia i looked it up davina joy randolph and i'm like of course she's from philly hardcore love her 
Dan Levy's on so it? So good. From Schitt's Creek? Everybody was in it. It was weird. Uh, Jane Adams was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And Hank was great. Like, they all play her team. Is this your favorite show ever? No. Mike Dean might have been the guy that was in the car with the Fat Joe because he's a record producer. He's a big producer. He did a lot of Kanye stuff. He did a lot of stuff. But um, he uh, that's who it looked like in the car with Fat Joe the other night. I don't think I'm going to watch it. I don't want you to because you have a daughter. I'm against nudity. <laughs> Full of shit. <laughs> No, no. I don't need nudity against. though. Like in a random HBO show, you can find nudity elsewhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's other avenues. I'm just trying to help. Magazines. Yeah. Playboy, old Playboys that I have. Yeah. Also, that little girl right there, Susanna Sun. Phenomenal talent. Oh, is it Moses she Sumney? Really can sing. Is it Moses Sumney? Is that a musician or a comic? Who? Moses Sumney. I think it's a musician. Yeah, it's a musician. Oh yeah, he's you're thinking of Moses Storm. Yeah, the, I was thinking uh, yeah, mm-hmm. right. comedian. Moses Storm, I like yeah, that him. guy had blonde hair right there, also, like Dennis Rodman. He had a bl- one blonde eyebrow and one dark eyebrow, and it really fucked me up. I Should I like, do that? Uh, yes, I might. But it, if you click on him again, he's really great. And they were comparing him to Prince. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's a musician. His, That's how I knew the name. His sing, yeah. See how one's dark, blonde and one's dark. <laughs> that is jarring. It really like. Is he wearing makeup too. Yeah. Maybe he's so creative, he, and his voice is great. It, 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 really, like I said, everybody in the show is phenomenal. It just it was too, it was tough. His it hair was hard to watch. His hair reminds me of Dennis Rodman, who got a huge <laughs> face tattoo of his girlfriend's face. That's on his face. Set. I mean, that's a bold. She wanted to make out with herself. That's a bold it. declaration. He's like, I want you to sit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> this new pickup line. I mean, on your Sit face. Sit on your face, honey. <laughs> Look, honey. <laughs> be amazing. Be patriotic. <laughs> Would you date Tony Pelicano? Well, I do have a bad picker, as my if, mom says. If he tapped your phone. <laughs> my mom says when it comes to men, like dating, all my taste is in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Not in your brain? (laughs) Fucking to mop's money. She really, really gets it. Really boils it down. She says, I just have a terrible picker. I'm not, I don't know how to, you know. (laughs) And and she goes, I shouldn't talk. I picked your father. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it could be genetic. (laughs) It's a hand-me-down, (laughs) Vizzle. So, I don't know. I So, probably, yes, I would, because I'm the worst. But I don't want to. Would you rather date him or <laughs> T-Bone from uh, last Ooh, episodes? Hold on, T-Bone. Crime and penalties. T-Bone 100. But T-bone. T-Bone's not nearly as gross as this guy. Not as old either. Oh, okay. I don't mind age. I don't not care. as scum. I don't you, care if they're almost dead. <laughs> you date a 79-year-old <laughs> man? 79. Yeah, they're there. easy. You could just put them in the corner. You don't have to talk to them too much. They're and if he dies, there. you'll get that trust. <laughs> there you go. But you are going to be wiretapped. I'm Emily. Not- <laughs> <laughs> Emily. He hears all me shitting on him outside the house. Is I was thinking. I fucking hate this Because all this was back in the I'm day. I'm wiping his ass. Is it as easy to tap a cell phone? Because I think these were all landlines. Well, that's what I'm saying. I I believe because it was a big thing that the government, if anybody from prison made a collect call, they tapped those phones. And I do believe it was a big deal and they had to stop doing that. But I don't remember when that. Do you mean tap the home? But you're saying they tap the call outside of recording just the prison call. They leave it on, like oh, they God. they that your line, whatever line it goes to, is tapped forever. Uh, n- no, I think it stopped after a certain, like you know, when they realized they have yeah. nothing, but yeah. they tapped every. Who's single. listening? Just to the, the I don't Kerrigan know. They're, li- they're listening to me and Mario breathe on the phone. <laughs> For our hours, like, Jesus Christ! Because we me, we could hear them, and me and Mario used to yell at the phone and go, "Leave us alone! Knock it off!" We're just in love, <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots! Like we would always talk shit, and my and Pelicano's remember, like, "Watch your mouth, honey." <laughs> <laughs> but it would, I I mean, obviously they realized it was like not a, you know, incriminating anything. It would go away, but he, he, Gary called a lot. He was Gary in there Shandling? for a while. <laughs> hey. 
It's me and Gary. I got to ask my little brother if he still calls him because he do, he was calling him out like every Friday night. My brother would be like, and he's like a, a bleeding heart, my Bobby. So he's like, oh, I feel bad. I got to I got to talk to him, you know, and it would be like hours, <laughs> hours. This poor guy. Why don't they just hang out? Because I think he's in a halfway house uh, somewhere. I don't. He, he's been like I said, the drugs really took a Why toll. Why doesn't he meet him halfway? hi hey <laughs> Am I allowed to take these off? By the way, I realized I had these on, and you didn't have yours on, so no. I didn't hear anything. That's cool. So I could have had them off the whole time. Well, and you just blew let it. my ears be free. You blew it. Whee! See, Eleanor, uh, she'll be on the River Barge. Uh, which city are you doing? Where am Baltimore I? Baltimore River Barge. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're going to make up things when I do have a website that they could go to. <laughs> okay, well, you can tell them. But I'll be at JFL just for laughs. We're doing a midnight show at the Comedy Store. Oh, cool. Uh, a Comedy on, Store show I'm midnight. I'm on that one, too. Yeah, yeah. in Montreal. <laughs> no, I'm uh, not. But I love that we got the midnight slot. That's so us. It's fitting. And uh, it's it, me and Ingram. We're going to do a Comedy Store podcast also. What's the ven- Where's the venue for the show? Yeah. It's a, uh, it might be on my website or aren't the they JFL doing, uh, website. Are they doing? L- <laughs> I really don't know. I didn't Le even look at it Comedy Store. <laughs> it's a Comedy Store presents kind of thing, and then we're doing a podcast, me and Rick, on uh, that Thursday. Who are you interviewing? That's another question. They were sending me a bunch of people. Who would you like? And we just said whoever you get. Rosie you know. O'Donnell. I R- love Rosie O'Donnell. Love to have Rosie. Madonna. Yep, definitely. The two of them were going to talk a league of their own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you picked them. But yeah. Oh, your phone just <laughs> fell. You just, you just got tapped. You just got tapped. My phone got tapped. All right. I think we're tapped. Yeah, I'm tapped. Check I'm us excited. out, everybody. Watch the YouTube Where videos are you of the be show. Next? I'll be at my house uh, <laughs> raising my kids and contemplating moving to various parts of the country. Uh, yes, let's do to it. To get out of this business. <laughs> Yay! Getting out of this business is like escaping Shawshank. It's really not as easy as you would think. It's not as easy to leave, is it, honey? Once you got <laughs> invested time, you got skin in the game, honey. You got time and money. Time and no money, honey. It's all a matter of time and money, honey. <laughs> That's going to be my slogan. <laughs> I'm going to write it down. You know the 369 thing where you write down in the morning three like what you want? Yeah. And then you write it down three times, then you write it down six times. Then you write it nine times. I've never heard of this, it. but I get it. Oh, yeah. You should do it every day. I do, yeah. I got to right. be honest. I don't, but I know it. <laughs> so you're going to write time Probably and money, honey? I'm not successful. That's what I'm going to write. It's all about time and money, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but write it down. All right, honeys. Turns out what the teachers were doing, making you write the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And empty barrels make the most noise really <laughs> stuck. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Dottie. <laughs> Goodbye, honeys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, little lady. Ha, ha, ha.